9.30 at night on Saturday, August the 8th, 2020. Uh, it's, I, I'm saying that a little late in the videos. Normally I, I put a little timestamp near the beginning of the videos. But uh, as you've already figured out, we are at a rental cabin that uh, Malia from Big Joe Malia's World rented for a birthday party, Big Joe's birthday, and also John Turner. It's a joint birthday. You, you're, you and Joe's birthday are, what, like three days apart, right? Um, two, one day apart. One Mine's day on apart. the 9th and his is on the 10th. <laughs> We, uh, I'm telling you, we have really celebrated. We had here. a feast. Malia yeah. just outdid herself. Outdid herself, cooked like crazy. But uh, I've already drawn a picture right there of Heather and John. And as I like to do with any new YouTuber that I've met, uh, just kind of do a little interview and find out a little more about your channel, uh, which I actually haven't watched very much admittedly i i subscribed a long time ago but for some reason not getting the notifications that uh, happens you know <laughs> yeah but i'm gonna have to start watching now um but you are the first youtuber that i've met and interviewed that has over a hundred thousand oh wow subscribers so you actually got the silver play button i did i did wow <laughs> was, cool. how did that feel when it came in it, it was very accomplishing you know like you work yeah. really hard and you hit a milestone that's kind of, you know, it's yeah. special. You know, we try not to look at numbers and stuff and have fun with it, but sometimes it's nice to get recognized for what you've done. Wow. So. Okay, and so what would you say is the um, the main focus or the biggest strength of your channel? Probably paranormal. Paranormal. paranormal cryptozoology, stuff like crypto, that. Cryptos, so we're talking like the Mothman mm -hmm. and Bigfoot and yep. Jersey Devil. Yeah. Okay. And like UFO stuff, have you done any? Yeah, of that I'm, yet? I'm abling with UFO stuff. It's just you know camera equipment stuff. I'm yeah. gonna upgrade to be able to film like at night in the sky and stuff. Right. But I have been to Area 51. You have been there. I've been to the gate. I filmed been rockets. Been to the gate, right? I rock. I'm not in the base. No, I'm yeah, not. You didn't try to I'm, storm it, right? No, no, no. <laughs> storm Area 51. Way before that, I went and we captured weird red lights in the desert. Rockets launching from the base. It's pretty interesting. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and also kind of abandoned mansions and stuff. Yeah, I, I think used that's to kind do, of where you got your start. That's where I got my start at, uh, doing abandoned places. I, I don't do them as much anymore because it's getting harder and harder to do it without legal issues. So yeah, That's true. Uh, the more attention your channel gets, the more kind of The harder it is to get away with it. Yes, I've kind of learned that too, and I'm only at 1,200 subscribers. Yeah. Uh, so that's great. So... Um, Probably the question a lot of people are going to ask, uh, most people, <laughs> uh, is when you're going into these abandoned places, uh, you know, how often have you seen, like, squatters and homeless people, and what do you do when you encounter them? Um, well, I haven't seen too many, but there's been a handful of times there's been squatters or homeless people there. Um, I've, I've been, I got chased out of one house in Canada. Chased Somebody started out. screaming from upstairs at me. Um, I just ran out the house. I said, heck with this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I would have done the same <laughs> I thing. I a place called The Devil's Elbow, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, you're, are you normally exploring these places like at dusk or at night? Or? Well, if I'm just doing an abandoned exploration, it's usually during the day. Um, and usually squatters and stuff are probably out and about. Um, but I do go to a lot of haunted places at night, cemeteries. You know, I've been to abandoned places at night. So. What's like the actual creepiest thing that you've seen? Seen? Or I like experience. Like the okay, movie. so recently I did a place called Lost Creek, and we are standing. It's a cemetery. I mean, ten miles as a crow flies from the closest place, civilization. So I mean, that's a straight line, about an hour driving. Um, and it sounded like if I had wings and started flapping them, and then a growl came. And I caught all this on camera. And it sent flapping two, wings. Like. Imagine I had wings on me. Okay, so we're talking like a wings. large wingspan. It's yes. just like I, a lot of wind. And then this growl come from the woods from the same direction. Like Mothman. <laughs> similar to Mothman. Um, yeah, similar to Mothman. But you didn't see Mothman's eyes. Like, no, I didn't see eyes. anything. I just okay. heard it and I, you know, I didn't. Yeah, I, actually, I actually talked to someone that said they saw a... What looked like a pterodactyl one time. It was a truck driver. Thunderbird. Is that what that is? That's called the Thunderbird. And you, um, in Harlan, Kentucky, there's been m numerous sightings of a Thunderbird flying over a lake. And uh, I'm actually working on that story now. I've been there twice. Um, I've been told about a cave where it lives. 
and I'm trying to wow. find said cave. And um, it reminds me of that uh, big, like a brontosaurus that's supposed to live in the Congo. Yeah, you probably heard of that one mm -hmm. too, right? Oh yeah, man, that is that is really crazy stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so another obvious question I'm sure you've heard a, a bunch of times, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What uh, recommendations would you give to a new YouTuber that wants to get that silver play button? Yeah, well, um, do something you truly love, and don't let other people divert you to where then it becomes not work. fun. Because, I mean, it is work, and you'll work harder. Like, if, if you do this full-time or you want to grow your channel and be big, you're going to work your butt off. Probably harder than you've done anything else. But it's very rewarding and fun if you stick with your passions and stay. Main thing, stay it, yourself. It has to be something you're interested. You're personally interested. Personally interested in because it's and stick with it. Be regular. Don't you know? Release your videos the same day every week. If you do weekly, try to release on the same day at the same time another week. Oh, Consistency no, gets I'm, you a long way. That's ways. something I'm not very good at. <laughs> and that, that's huge. Yeah. But yeah, I'll release at least two or three videos a week, but it's very sporadic. Sometimes yeah. it's on Monday, sometimes. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do, but you know, just stick with your passions and do what you love, and you'll, be, you'll do good. All right. So is, is things like uh, production quality and sound quality, is all that important, or... It is, is it? and it isn't, in my opinion, because I think what made you two special originally was the realness of it. Amen you know, to that. Uh, uh, oh, like, boy, yeah. Me and my wife so watched a video the other day, and it's just this, this older lady, shaky. She's cooking in her kitchen, yeah. and it's real. It's really her and her family. You know, there's kids running around, and it's just like, it's like you're really there in the house experiencing it, and I think that's right. one of the special things that's almost lost now with YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, there's so many executives out there that are making these million dollar movies, you know, mm -hmm. with the that are that's basically just a string of of huge special effects and and then people with zero budget are getting millions of views from their kitchen and they're just like how <laughs> how are they doing this? It's real. It's cuz it's real. <laughs> Yeah, and then you got a lot of YouTubers now trying to be like big production people, but it's just amateur stuff. Yeah, and that's they not... spend all this money, and that you lose the realness in it. Yeah, the part that you get the connection, the bond with somebody. All right, so let's wrap this up um, real quick. Uh, how do people find your channel? Um, just Google Exploration Unknown or type it in the search bar. You'll see my yeah. black and white face, my night vision face, and just click and hit subscribe or watch, watch videos if you like it. I do paranormal. I do abandoned mail. Heck, sometimes me and my wife go play arcade games together. Arcade games. Wow. I do a series called One Tank Trips. I go to cool little towns. I mean, Wine tank it's my trip. life. You're, you're just going to follow me around in it. Yeah, there so. you go. I like that. That's awesome. Well, thank you, John. Thank you. Yeah. Thank awesome. you for the drawing. It was great. Oh, you're very welcome. All right.